a visualization of Babcock's Arrowhead 140 place design, which was chosen for Poland's Miznik, Swordfish, Frigate Procurement Program, was unveiled last week at a press conference hosted by the consortium PGZMIECZNIK. On April 8, PGZ Group, Polska Grupa Zebrojniała, unveiled the first drawing of the Arrowhead 140 place frigate which is similar to the Royal Navy's Type 31 frigates but optimized for Polish Navy requirements, at a press conference in Gdynia, Poland, to publicize the latest status of the project. The photos from the conference indicate that it was a small-scale conference where primarily the systems of the future frigates, the infrastructure investments required for the implementation of the project, and the design features of the ships were presented by the project managers. Cesare Sierza, the director of the Miznik program, provided information about the project and an overview of its progress to date. Wojciech Nowajinski, project manager of the Miznik program at PGZ Stichnia Wojena, explained that they are still working on the preliminary design and the final design may have some differences according to the requirements of the Polish Navy. According to the information revealed by the conference attendants, the Miznik frigates will be 138.7 meters long, 19.7 meters wide, and 5.5 meters deep, with a displacement of about 7,000 tons. The frigates will be able to operate at sea for 30 days without replenishment. The maximum speed will be 28 knots, and the range at 18 knots will be more than 6,000 nautical miles. The crew of the ships will be about 100 to 120 people, but the frigates will be able to accommodate up to 160 people. The frigate's armament appears to be in line with expectations. Four quad SSM launchers with RBS-15 MK-3, MK-4 are mounted at various points on the ship. The Arrowhead 140 place is equipped with a 32-cell VLS, and according to a March 4 announcement, MBDA will equip the Sea Scepter air defense system with CAM family missiles. Considering that one cell can hold four CAM missiles, the maximum load of the VLS will be 128 CAM missiles. The illustration also indicates that the new frigates will be armed with a 76M gun and a 35M gun. The ship will be capable of carrying and launching Mu-90 torpedoes against submarine threats. There is not much information about the sensor suit, but the image shows that the Miznik frigate will be equipped with an SM-400 AESA S-band radar supported by an NS-50 rotating radar. The conferees indicate that CAPTAS variable depth sonar and a hull-mounted sonar will be equipped for ASW purposes. According to the information gained from the Polish media, Paweł Lulewicz, president of PGZ Stichnia Wojena, and Marcin Ringwelski, president of Romantowa Shipbuilding spoke about how the shipyards united in the consortium have prepared for this task. The integration of the ship equipment and systems should take place on the premises of PGZ Stichnia Wojena. However, if necessary, we are ready to build the entire platform in our shipyard. Our goal is to support our colleagues from PGZ SAW, who are leading the consortium, but we would also like to contribute our experience in managing a large program such as Cormoran or Tugboat. The infrastructure investment program at Ramantawa Shipbuilding SAW will start in the second quarter of 2022. As previously reported, Babcock's Arrowhead 140 and TKMS, Nico A300 were finalists for the program, and the PGZ consortium chose Babcock's design. Construction of the first Miznik frigate is scheduled to begin in August 2023. The three frigates will enter service in 2028, 2029 and 2031.